So now let's take everything we've learned and put it all together and machine this part. So we're in design mode. Auto stock your feature, or I'm sorry, auto stock your part. Let's take a look and make sure our CPL is correct. I don't see it. Oops, there it is. Uh, so let's fix it. Let's take that CPL and put it on this corner. Work our way right down the row. Go to Creator CPL. I'm going to name it New. I want to move the origin with it through three points. Remember the counterclockwise right triangle? Wait for the red box. PRZ ends up in the right place. And you're ready to find your features. I made sure that all my holes, similar holes are grouped. Maximum diameter of a hole is 0.5. And I said, hey, look, f go find everything. And say, okay. We're ready for manufacture mode. I've got the right machine tool. I have make sure that your new CPL uh, is called new. That's what I named it. So it should be there. If it's not, make sure you pick whatever you named it right here. Otherwise, it won't find the features. We'll say OK. So we can do this in any order we want. Let's do it. Let's drill the holes first, then rough this pocket, then do this profile. And I can see as I highlight these, I can look over in my browser and I can see which ones become highlighted so I know what operation I want to do on what geometry. And I can pick and choose. So let's do this. Let's do a whole operation. Select the points. I'm going to select those points. Notice they all get selected together because I said select similar holes in Feature Finder. We're going to go right to roughing. We're going to drill. And these are quarter inch holes, by the way. So we're going to say find. Don't make a new tool because you want to use an end mill. It wants to make a new tool because there are no drills. Let's cruise right along and let's do a roughing operation on this pocket. Let's not put any boundaries in. Let's let EdgeCam figure that out. Tooling. I'm going to use a half inch end mill. And say OK. And the last thing I have to do is a profile, which is this operation. I'm going to select this profile. And I'm with no boundaries because it's a profile. Tooling. That's an eighth inch. So I'm going to use a ball end mill so that I can put a, a rounded edge on the the bottom edge of that. We're going to select it and say OK. Uh-oh, what happened? It's because I picked the wrong geometry, so let's fix that. Let's go back here, delete this profile. Maybe I picked the wrong geometry, but maybe something else happened. Before I delete this, let's edit it and look, because I bet I know what the problem is. My XY offset has left this, because in the last tutorial, I did an offset profile. I wanted that there. Don't forget that you have to go change that back. So I'm going to say my XY offset is zero. And let's see what happens. Bam, there it is, right back where it belongs. So let's see what happens when I simulate this. There's the holes. Here comes the pocket, and then the profile. Perfect. Exactly what we want. Now that we have all three operations done, if we decided that we wanted to do these in a different order, it would be as easy as dragging our sequences to change their order. Now it'll do the profiling first, the milling next, and then the roughing. And it's as easy as flipping those around. And you can go verify and try it again. But that's how you do multiple operations on a single part.